Here comes Cat. Yeah, hello. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we've got another Black Series figure. This is my most recent pickup, Vel Sartha from Andor. Really been looking forward to this one. Um, but at the same time, I've sort of been holding off because it's just... I know it's not the most exciting, but I'm excited to have her as part of the crew. Um, I've pretty much all but decided I'm not going to go down the route of the uh, the vintage vintage collection sort of Andor figures at the moment. That could change. <laughs> I keep looking at the uh, old dining mission, Aunt Cassie, and it looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, sort of glad I sort of held out for this one. Um, but yeah, really happy to have it in the collection as well. So I just need to get a couple of those sort of first wave figures, uh, like the old dining mission Cassian in Black Series. So yeah, she was a cool character. It just says on the back here, in an era filled with danger, deception, and intrigue, Cassian Andor embarks on a path that will turn him into the rebel hero who will change the evil Galactic Empire challenge. The evil Galactic Empire. So yeah, she's number eight. Nice image on the side there. It looks pretty good. So yeah, onto the figure. Might as well get onto it. So yeah, Vel is the cousin of Senator Mon Mothma, which is, which is cool to have that sort of tie-in. And this figure is actually pretty damn good. I'm yeah, very eager to be able to get the collection out and display her with the other with the other members of the uh, Black series, Cassie and Andor series. She does come with the one assault rifle here, which is just this is one of the coolest weapons I've seen in Star Wars. You know, it's I don't know much about weapons, um, but apparently a lot of them were very. Very much derivative of real life. Not a lot of change there, but you know, it was like that in the originals too. But the interesting thing is, for, for stowage, you actually slide that turret away and it tucks in there like that, and then you can have the stock folding up around there. So you have a little bit more discreet, but uh, yeah. If you can hear some noise, that's my cat sort of walking around as I'm as I'm reviewing here. <laughs> I'm expecting her to walk across the screen. But yeah, that's a fantastic, fantastic weapon. I really like that. And I thought the uh, the thing on the side there might have been a, a peg to sort of you know, attach it to her back or something like that, and have it sort of slung over onto on, on a, onto a belt or something. I'm not sure, but um, it's pretty good. I like it. So yeah, it's a, it's a reasonably simple outfit, simple jacket, sort of black black trousers, brown boots, brown jacket, sort of sticking with those sort of earthy colours of, you know, early days of rebellion, and in particular the missions, and, you know, those sort of warmer browns and stuff for, for Ferrex, definitely, uh, definitely picks up there. Sticking with the uh, sometimes often, sometimes broken rule of like no zips and buttons in Star Wars. But, you know, the, the sort of fold across and loop jacket, which we get a sort of a lot with, with the shirts. But I think the head sculpt looks pretty good. I'm completely blanking on the name of the actress at the moment. I did look it up last night, but it didn't commit it to memory. Here's a separate piece on the back there. You can kind of see that's sculpted nicely. I do like it is quite a lighter blonde in the back, but I like how they've sort of gone, they've sort of shaded it. So once you get back back to the uh, ponytail there, it is lighter, which that's a nice effect. I think it looks good. Yeah, it's a nice sculpt. I think probably some more paint details would would be a little bit nicer, you know, just to give some depth to the jacket. Um, I know the vintage collection Vel sort of suffered the same sort of thing, even though I haven't picked that figure up. Um, yeah, just just a sort of lack of detail, just sort of brought a, a, an otherwise good figure, you know, down to a sort of, you know, not quite peak peak level. Just a, those few more details would have helped. One thing that sort of stands out for me is that the above the above the uh, swivel there at the the thigh. 
that plastic on the hips there, it's it's quite a different black to the rest of the trousers. Like it's almost a little bit more matte and that's more of a gloss. It kind of stands out. Especially with the uh, the bottom piece there being matte as well. So you sort of this sort of glossy part here, which is interesting. A little bit distracting. I mean, if you're so inclined, you could get a bit of clear matte spray, just give it a light mist. That'd sort that out pretty quick. But I'm not too fussed. End of the day, I'll sort of display her with the uh, blaster rifle. Have it sort of pointing down a little bit. This does hold it reasonably well. Except that just popped off, I'll fix that up afterwards. And just have it holding it sort of down that way. And that looks like it's just a little clip in there. Not sure if I put it in the right way or not, but we'll see that afterwards. It's not a big deal. So another nice short one for you this week, folks. Hope you have enjoyed it. Nice addition to the line, definitely. Alright folks, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Any Andor fans out there? I know there are out there. Plenty of Andor fans, everyone loves that series, it's fantastic. Love to hear your thoughts, please send out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you for another video real soon. Until then, may the force be with you, always.